In the spotlight this morning, two Rhode Islanders recently appeared on America's favorite game show. And now they're back home in the Ocean State to tell us all about their time on Jeopardy! Here in studio, we welcome Matthew Harvey and Megan Mello. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Just Thank making you. it that far is an achievement, and we're going to get to the, the details and everything in just a bit. But could you remind folks at home how you fared? Matt, I'll start with you. Sure. My episode aired uh, a week ago, last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, I was up against a champion who was entering his 17th consecutive game, Oof. and I didn't beat him, but okay. I think I had a pretty decent showing nonetheless. Excellent. And Megan, for you? Um, my episode aired last night. Uh, I also went up against the same champion, and although I did not win the show, I did beat the champion. Okay. Uh, so he, uh, he wagered to lock out the eventual winner in Final Jeopardy and that put him below my meager score and uh, the luck of the draw I got second place. Hey, that's awesome. Second place club. Second hey. place club. Hey, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. They're talking in the green room as if they've known each other forever. So let's talk about getting to that point. Have you guys been fans for a long time? Was this something that you had tried in the past? I've always enjoyed watching Jeopardy, okay. and then I guess I think like a lot of people in the pandemic, my I just needed something else to do, and um, maybe I'll give it a shot. So um, it's also much easier to get on, I think, than much it used easier. to be. You mm -hmm. can take the test online, and then okay. um, so it opens the the candidate pool quite a bit. Um, but it was. Uh, sort of a surreal experience of a lifetime absolutely. to actually get there. Absolutely. Um, I've been watching Jeopardy for as long as I can remember. I've been taking the uh, audition test since I turned 18. Wow. Um, I had a, an audition in 2015 that was in Boston and it was both stages in one day and it was a really stressful day. Um, obviously I didn't make it then but uh, I gave myself a deadline. I said, I'm going to take the anytime test this year by this date. And I, it was a Friday afternoon, and I was at the very end of my deadline. And I'm like, I'm still not ready, but oh well, I'm going to take it. Um, and then I got the email for the first audition that, that following Monday. So. Mm -hmm. You guys talk about stress or loving the game or whatever, but then you actually make it to the game. Yeah. Different ball game. You could watch at home and mm -hmm. rattle off all the answers, and then when you're plucked into that position, your mind could go blank. There's a lot of other factors. The buzzer is a big part of it. Yeah, I mean, I will say I was less nervous than I thought I would be, and I think okay. a lot of that mm -hmm. comes down to how amazing the crew of that show is. They really, absolutely, they really want people to do well, and they oh, make good. it a, a pretty welcoming, friendly experience. And I, I don't know about for you, but when I got up there, I was just like, it was just me and the board. Mm -hmm. And okay. I was able to kind of just Put the sort of lock on. in. Um, it's a real mix of skill and luck mm -hmm. and what questions they have and who you're playing against. And You mentioned an interesting tactic about like working on your buzzer skills. Because yeah. That's a big part. You see people feverishly going like this <laughs> trying to buzz in. So in rehearsals, I realized that I felt more comfortable if I was able to prop up my arm on the podium and I had a little bit more stability yeah. that I could click the buzzer faster. And I want to thank my husband for helping me train on the buzzer. Um, he downloaded the Jeopardy game onto his Xbox and we were, I was playing, I was ringing in and I, I had him try to beat me ringing in on the Xbox. So I got a little bit of feedback from yeah. that about how quickly I was going. We're athletes basically. <laughs> Training the hand. Uh, no thumb wrestling. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And you know, my line is that I now have a skill I'll never use again, which is I'm, I'm pretty good at the Jeopardy buzzer, but there are very few other times in life you're called on to press something real fast with your thumb. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I see like a trivia segment in the future. Maybe we'll have you guys back. But thank you so much for coming in today. What a pleasure. Thank you so much for having Maybe us. Maybe we'll see you again in the future. You never know. Try again. Do I mean, there is the second chance tournament. There is the second uh -huh. chance tournament. I mean, that is once in a lifetime. <laughs> All right. Maybe the second place will bump up to first. Guys, right. thanks again. You Thank can, you. of course, watch Jeopardy! weeknights at 730 right here on WPRI 12.